Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to achieve financial independence and live the life you want? Do you want to stop worrying about money and start enjoying it? Do you want to learn how to create a personal finance plan that works for you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to create a personal finance plan that will help you reach your financial goals and become financially independent. Alright, let's get into it. Here are the steps to create a personal finance plan for financial independence. Step 1. Define your financial goals. The first step is to define your financial goals. What do you want to achieve with your money? What are your short-term and long-term goals? How much money do you need to reach them? Some examples of financial goals are Paying off debt Saving for an emergency fund Buying a house Saving for retirement Traveling the world Starting a business Write down your financial goals and be as specific as possible. For each goal, include the amount, the time frame, and the priority. For example, pay off $10,000 of credit card debt in 12 months, high priority. Save $5,000 for an emergency fund in 6 months, medium priority. Save $20,000 for a down payment on a house in 3 years, low priority. Having clear and realistic financial goals will help you stay motivated and focused on your personal finance plan. Step 2. Assess your current situation. The second step is to assess your current situation. Where are you now in terms of your income, expenses, assets, and liabilities? How much money do you earn, spend, save, and owe? To answer these questions, you need to track your income and expenses for at least one month. You can use a spreadsheet, an app, or a tool like Mint or an app to record and categorize every transaction. You can also use tools like Budget Planner or Money Dashboard to create a budget and see where your money goes. You also need to list your assets and liabilities. Assets are things that you own that have value, such as cash, investments, property, or vehicles. Liabilities are things that you owe money on, such as loans, mortgages, or credit cards. You can use tools like Net Worth Calculator or Personal Capital to calculate your net worth which is the difference between your assets and liabilities. Your net worth is a measure of your financial health and progress. By assessing your current situation, you will have a clear picture of your income, expenses, net worth, and cash flow. You will also be able to identify any gaps or problems in your finances that need to be addressed. Step 3. Create a plan for your income and expenses. The third step is to create a plan for your income and expenses. How can you increase your income and reduce your expenses? How can you allocate your money towards your financial goals? To increase your income, you can look for ways to earn more money from your current job or find additional sources of income. For example, ask for a raise or a promotion. Negotiate better terms or benefits. Work overtime or take on extra projects. Start a side hustle or freelance work. Sell unwanted items or services online. To reduce your expenses, you can look for ways to save money on your essential and discretionary spending. For example, cut down on unnecessary subscriptions or memberships. Switch to cheaper providers or plans for utilities, phone, internet, or insurance. Use coupons, discounts, or cashback apps when shopping. Cook at home instead of eating out. Use public transportation or carpool instead of driving. To allocate your money towards your financial goals, you can use the 50-30-20 rule as a guideline. This rule suggests that you should spend 50% of your income on needs, such as housing, food, transportation, 30% on wants, such as entertainment, hobbies, clothing, and 20% on savings and debt payments, such as emergency fund, retirement fund, credit card debt, student loan debt. You can adjust these percentages according to your situation and preferences, but the idea is to have a balanced and realistic budget that covers your needs, wants, and goals. 
You can also use tools like Budget Planner or Money Dashboard to create and track your budget. By creating a plan for your income and expenses, you will be able to optimize your cash flow and achieve your financial goals faster. Step 4. Create a plan for your assets and liabilities. The fourth step is to create a plan for your assets and liabilities. How can you grow your assets and reduce your liabilities? How can you diversify your portfolio and manage your risk? To grow your assets, you can look for ways to invest your money in different types of assets that can generate income or appreciate in value over time. For example, open a savings account or a certificate of deposit that pays interest. Contribute to a retirement account or a pension plan that offers tax benefits. Buy stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or exchange-traded funds that pay dividends or capital gains. Buy real estate, land, or property that can generate rental income or appreciation. Buy gold, silver, or other precious metals that can hedge against inflation or currency fluctuations. Buy cryptocurrencies, tokens, or NFTs that can offer high returns or innovation. To reduce your liabilities, you can look for ways to pay off your debt as soon as possible and avoid taking on new debt. For example, use the debt snowball or debt avalanche method to pay off your debt from smallest to largest or from highest to lowest interest rate. Use a balance transfer card or a personal loan to consolidate your debt at a lower interest rate. Negotiate with your creditors for a lower interest rate, a longer repayment term, or a debt settlement. Use the 0% purchase card trick to pay off your debt interest-free. Avoid using credit cards for impulse purchases or cash advances. To diversify your portfolio and manage your risk, you can look for ways to spread your money across different types of assets and sectors that have different levels of risk and return. For example, use the rule of 100 to determine how much of your portfolio should be in stocks and how much in bonds, based on your age. Use the core satellite approach to build a portfolio that consists of a core of low-cost index funds and a satellite of individual stocks or other assets that match your interests or goals. Use the bucket strategy to divide your portfolio into three buckets, one for short-term needs, one for medium-term needs, and one for long-term needs. Use asset allocation tools like Personal Capital or Portfolio Visualizer to create and optimize your portfolio based on your risk tolerance and time horizon. By creating a plan for your assets and liabilities, you will be able to increase your net worth and achieve financial independence sooner. Step 5. Review and adjust your plan regularly. The fifth and final step is to review and adjust your plan regularly. How are you progressing towards your financial goals? What changes or challenges have occurred in your life or in the market? How can you improve or optimize your plan? To review and adjust your plan, you need to monitor your income, expenses, net worth, and cash flow on a monthly basis. You also need to track your performance and returns on your assets and liabilities on a quarterly or annual basis. You can use tools like Mint, Inab, Personal Capital, or Portfolio Visualizer to help you with this. You also need to evaluate your financial goals and priorities on a yearly basis. You may need to update or revise your goals based on your life events, such as getting married, having children, changing jobs, or retiring. You may also need to adjust your budget, portfolio, or strategy based on the market conditions, such as inflation, recession, or volatility. By reviewing and adjusting your plan regularly, you will be able to stay on track with your financial goals and adapt to any changes or opportunities that arise. These are the steps to create a personal finance plan for financial independence. By following these steps, you will be able to take control of your money and achieve your financial goals and dreams. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I post videos every week on topics related to personal finance, investing, and money management. Thank you for watching this video. 
I hope it helps you create a personal finance plan for financial independence. I'll see you in the next video.